Rain speaks of favor. Shout favor. Okay, shout favor. Rain speaks of blessing. Shout blessing. Rain speaks of harvest. Shout harvest. Rain speaks of prosperity. Shout prosperity. Rain speaks of supernatural outpouring of the Spirit of God. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, favor is about to hit your life on a whole new level. So you're getting ready to experience blessings on a whole new level. Y'all ain't talking to your neighbor. Say power getting ready to hit your life on a whole new level. And you must understand, my brothers and sisters, nothing just happened. If you're going to go to the next level in life, the next level in life demands that you do something. God give us principles in the word of God. And as you apply the principles of the word of God, you will begin to see God move in your life in levels and dimensions that you never thought could have happened in your life. He said, I'll give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And if the kingdom of heaven is going to be made manifest in your life, then you must work the principles of the kingdom of God. And the more principles you work and apply, the more he begins to rule in your life in righteousness, peace, joy, and power. And the more you're fruitful, the more you multiply, the more you replenish, the more you subdue, and the more you have dominion. When you come to church and when you read your Bible, hallelujah, you have a responsibility to apply the principles as you apply the principles you will experience more of his favor more of his blessing more of his prosperity more of his power in your life do I have a witness in the Lord's church he said watch this y'all draw nigh to me principle and I will draw nigh to you humble yourself under the mighty hand of God and he will exalt you in due time call this church together in a time of prayer and fasting and watch me cause the latter rain and the former rain to come together moderately shake your neighbor say neighbor hallelujah one principle you apply to your life can take your life to a whole new level if you praise me i'll come down in your praise because i inhabit the praises of his people come on joshua just walk around the thing be quiet and shout when I say shout and watch the walls in your life fall shake your neighbor say if you wipe the principle you will experience rain and not rain by showers but rain by abundance shake your neighbor say God is transitioning you from spry to showers of blessings Ezekiel 24 said, and there shall be showers of blessing. I need you to look at your neighbor Elijah said, you better get ready because I hear the sound of abundance of rain. And the reason why it was delayed, because this blessing can't compare to what Kitalabashanda or Kitalabaha, to the former blessing. You asking the question why the warfare intensifying? Because of the abundance of glory that's about to hit your life. Because of that door that's getting ready to open. It's about to not only bless you, your mama gonna be blessed, your daddy gonna be blessed. One opportunity will change your life for the Bakish Panda for the rest of your life. Grab your neighbor, say neighbor, I hear a sound. Shake your neighbor, please. Shake him and rock him and say, Heaven getting ready. Hallelujah to respond to your declaration. I hear the sound. I hear the sound. I hear the sound. If you say it, you will see it. I hear the sound. Heaven is about to respond to your praise today. Somebody open your mouth and praise him if you was out in the prayer yesterday heaven getting ready to respond to your prayer shake your neighbor push him and tell him God's getting ready in this season to elevate you and every storm every lie every betrayal every gossiper every undermining devil was a sign to position you that brings me to this point God positioned me 
in the U.S. Shake your neighbor. Say, neighbor, this next glory is going to come when you position right. Position has to do with location. I can be in the right location, but if I posture right, I can still miss God. So they put me in position, the U.S., then they told me to posture. Okay, let's talk a little bit about position. Say, God has given you clarity of your position. The first position that you must understand and accept is your position in his righteousness. Say, position in righteousness. This has to do with understanding my right relationship with God. This has to do with understanding my right relationship with that. Please note this. This is prophetic. As the Lord reign, favor, refreshing, prosperity, and restoration on us, we will begin to reign. R-E-I-G-N. It means to hold royal office. It means to be the best or the most important in a particular area of dom or domain. It means dominating power or influence. God said, as I begin to reign in your life, you are about to reign in the earth as a result making kingdom impact. Shake your neighbor say, tell them, my righteousness is a gift from God. Oh, come on, y'all. Say, my righteousness is a gift from God. Once you accept his, this gift of righteousness, which means you are in right relationship or right standing with God, glory to God. Once you accept that, glory to God, by faith, through grace, hallelujah, you are positioning yourself to reign. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, you're the righteousness of God in Christ. It's a gift. It's a gift. You receive that gift by faith through God's grace. Grace is God's unmerited favor. Hallelujah. Once you receive the gift of righteousness by faith in Jesus Christ, you are right before God. I don't care what you do. I don't care what you say. I don't care if the mistake you make. Hallelujah. Once you receive that gift of righteousness, you are in a right relationship with God. Do I have a... God, help me in here. Shake your neighbor and say, I may not get it right all the time. Hallelujah, but I'm in right relationship with him. You ain't hear what I'm saying? Joshua is my son by blood. He has my DNA. I don't care what he do. I don't care where he go. He is in right relationship with me because he has my DNA. If you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, glory to God, you have his DNA. You ain't going to get it right all the time. You're going to make mistakes take some time you're gonna sin yes you will either in thought either in words or either in deed but because of his grace glory to God and you re receive that free gift of righteousness you can still stand in his presence without shame without guilt without con y'all didn't want me shout like this without shame without guilt without condemnation so Paul said in Romans 8 there is therefore now no judgment no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus that made us free from the law of sin and death and you need to shake your neighbor and say you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus if you accept that you position in yourself hallelujah to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover you position in yourself to take a Authority over the works of the enemy you position in yourself to stand in such confidence that praise God hallelujah that John says glory to God because of the blood of Jesus you overcome the adversary when you accept his righteousness which is the free gift you are right before God are you saved yes but perhaps I just made a mistake so what? Because you are the righteousness of God, you can confess your sins. And he's faithful and just to forgive you of your sin and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Righteous people have a desire to live right. 
If there's no desire to live right, you need to question your righteousness. Your righteousness is not based on your mistakes. Your righteousness is based on your acceptance of it by faith. I had to learn that because I mind some of y'all church people, I'll, I'll, I'll go back in the world. Y'all church people think y'all got it all together with your lying self, your gossiping self. The only sin in the church is adultery, gambling, and fornicating, and sissy, and hallelujah, but you are a gossiper. You got stuff in your heart, and your heart in your heart for years, and you looking at me and condemning me. You just as bad. You worse. You just like that self-righteous man who was in the prayer meeting. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And he's beating up on his chest. I'm not like him. I like him. I like her. Hallelujah. And the other man who accepted God's righteousness said, I am a mess. And I can't make it without you, Jesus. Shake your neighbor. Say, neighbor, I don't have it all together, but I'm right in here. Elijah understood his righteousness. Elijah understood his righteousness when he said the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He understood his righteousness. He understood his right relationship with God. And because of that, he qualified himself to shut the heaven and open it. You don't lay hands on the sick and they recover because you fast and pray. You can benefit from that. But you lay hands on the sick and they recover because you write. He made you right. That qualify you to say, come out. Okay, we'll talk about that sometime time. Shake and never say, yeah, we'll talk about that sometime time. Let me give you this one. Because you're the righteousness of God, your position is in the heavens. Before righteousness, you were here. When you became right, you came up here. So you take authority over the works of the flesh because your position is in the heaven. Shake your neighbor and say, my flesh is down here. My soul function down here. But my spirit is in the heavens. Hallelujah. Even when we were dead in sins, had quickened us together in Christ. That's righteousness. By grace I saved and became right. Hallelujah. And, and had raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And, 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 and he, because we became right, had made us sit together and 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 made us sit together in heavenly places and made us sit together you go up there, Jesus. 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 Old sinful role. He was sinful. But when he accepted the righteousness of God, which is a free gift, and he became right by faith, glory to God, not by his good work, because his righteousness is as filthy rags. Glory to God. God made him. Sit. Together in heavenly places. Isha. And you're not on the left hand because the left hand is the weak hand. You're on the right side, which is the power hand. You're sitting next to him in heavenly places. Simply put, every principality and everything that has name is under your authority. <laughs> For more information about Arama Moments or how to obtain a copy of today's message, call the number on your screen or email Rama at lwkm.org.